Uh, listen to that roar. It's gotten louder since I appeared on the cover of Fortune. Yeah. Everyone here today will have to embrace something new in life. You can't keep on doing something that you're just comfortable with. You eventually need to step outside of your comfort zone. Uh, how about this? Are you really used to and comfortable with living in poverty? Uh, if you're unhappy with your current situation and you want to run from it, doing what you've always done isn't going to get you anywhere, right? You have to do something new. I'll tell you why. In the old days, there was no need for new things. We could just go on doing the same old things. In those days, things really didn't change very much. So we could just keep on doing the same old things. However, we're now living in a new world, and things are always changing rapidly. Nowadays, futurists and non-futurists alike all agree on the fact uh, that somewhere around 70% of our children's potential jobs uh, are going to disappear in the coming age of artificial intelligence. Therefore, it's pointless to preach to your children to do well in school. No matter how hard they might study right now, 70% of their learning will be for naught. For example, when I was in school, some people were really good with the abacus. Is that a useful skill now? That's one of the prime examples. Being good or poor at the abacus makes absolutely no difference in life and is of no benefit whatsoever these days. Do you see what I'm saying? Just like the abacus, 70% of our current professions will disappear in the near future. We have no choice but to alter ourselves to adapt to the changing times. I say we should aim for a no competition field. Strategically speaking, going where there's little competition and few people is the right path. How about MLM, huh? Yeah. For instance, Atomy is a brand new way of life. There's not a single thing that's too hard in the Atomy business because we have this perfect system for everyone. There are quite a few elementary school grads in the Royal Leaders Club. As far as I know, there are five. Out of 130, five received only a grade school education. Does that sound like a lot? I'd say that's quite a lot. One of them only had a third grade education. Let's think about how those with such little education can succeed and make 20, 30, even $40,000 a month now. Okay, one case might be a fluke, but there are quite a few like that here. Many of the Royal Club members also didn't do well in school. They did receive an education, but they were poor students. Sometimes, I wonder if the reason we attract so many poor students might be that I too was a terrible student. Many of them had very unsuccessful careers, such as truck driver and bankrupt restaurateur, just to name a few. Many of the Royal Club members suffered tough luck and a series of failures. Now, of course, we have a PhD in engineering and a former bank manager who thought that his retirement was not going to be adequately prepared. He bravely quit his job after seeing the vision of Atomy, which is practically clairvoyant. Still, there are more who aren't quite like them. How on earth was it possible for those poorly educated people to become so successful, making 20, 30, 40, even $50,000 a month? It's because 
They have this tool called atomy. Think of it this way. Compare harvesting rice with a scythe to harvesting it with a combine harvester. Mm. All you need to do is analyze one, the atomy success system, and two, what you should be doing to succeed. We call this the atomy business, right? It's a business. As a matter of fact, there are so many things involved in doing a business, aren't there? First of all, you must find a place to do business, then get a business license. Next, establish the merchandise and purchase a decent stock. Third, quality control has to be set up. Next, you must do inventory and maintain a warehouse. Next, you sell items, collect payment, and then you must do a cost-benefit analysis and monitor your employees, and so on and so forth. There are tons of things you have to do. Look at Atomy. Everything is already set up and ready. Everything is already done at Atomy, and there is only one thing you need to do. It's like I'm telling you to just turn the key to a completely ready machine. Who among you would be able to manufacture an automobile from scratch right here. However, with us, you can just turn the key to start the car, even if you don't know anything about the engine. Then you step on the gas pedal and start turning the wheel. Most of you here today are able to drive a car, right? This is what we call a turnkey base. All you need to do is turn the key. That's the turnkey base. Atomy prepared everything for you. First, purchase good products. Don't businesses need to purchase products? I mean good products? Atomy will buy all the necessary items for you and will store them in our warehouse. You will also need a delivery system, which you don't need to bother with, since Atomy already has that done for you. The next step is to collect payment, which the company does for you as well. Making and delivering sales orders, as well as collecting payment from your consumers, will all be handled for you by the company. The next step is for you to calculate your people's compensation, which will also be taken care of by the company's computer system. We do all of these chores for you. There is only one simple thing left for you to do. I just started a business making $50,000 a month. Would you like to join me? That's what you're going to say. Say you'll be handling daily necessities, which we can't live without. Daily necessities sell no matter what, don't they? They sell regardless of the economy, and without them, the quality of our lives will go down dramatically. Think about a day without toothpaste. Your first priority would be to buy toothpaste. More than anything else, you will have to buy it. How about running out of shampoo or cosmetics? Your number one priority would be to buy those things. Most of the things here are daily must-haves. They aren't things that sell well with good sales technique or poorly due to bad technique or poor people skills. Some will say, I'm not good at sales. That doesn't matter. People will buy no matter what. But when will they buy? People will buy when they know things are of good prices and good quality. You don't need to try to sell. You just need to let them know about it. Our products will sell themselves. On the other hand, if you try to sell unnecessary goods, you must have strong sales techniques, persuasion ability, explanatory talents, and all sorts of other fancy tricks. However, if things are of good prices, good quality, and our daily necessities, under these three conditions, they will sell themselves. Now, tell me, do you need to worry about selling them? I'll tell you how to check if these products are of great value. Simply use them yourself. You need to buy daily necessities anyway, don't you? 
so why don't you just try these products? If you're disappointed and you don't want them, return them at any time for full refunds. Will you suffer any loss? Absolutely not. Atomy guarantees refunds 100% of the time. You've got nothing to lose. If you ever hear anyone complaining about losses, it means that person has done something wrong. They must have done something really screwy. The fundamental characteristics of Atomy are practically loss-proof. No one should suffer any losses. Even if you don't do this business, you will keep using these kinds of products regardless which is not really investing in the business, right? Regardless of doing the Atomy business, you'll have to buy these things anyway. So of course, since they are of great value, you're using them. Next, let me share with you what it takes to become successful. The most important factor is faith. First of all, please have faith in yourself. There are those who don't even believe in themselves. Needless to say, they have no faith in others either. After using these skincare products, will you be able to make a decision as to whether you like them or not? Are you able to tell if these products are of better quality or better prices or not? If so, none of you here have any disqualifying conditions for doing the Atomy business. If you found out that Atomy goods were of better quality than the old ones you used, wouldn't they be of better quality to other people as well? To others, they will also be of better quality. You just need to make a decision based on your personal experiences. First and foremost, you must be absolutely sure of yourself regarding the facts about these products. However, deeply suspicious people who don't even trust themselves will never be able to make it big. Some gullible people are easily swayed by others' negative remarks, even after concluding that they prefer Atomy's goods. If others say they don't like our products, just move on, believing in your judgment, and don't easily be swayed by them. You just keep on looking for people who will love our products. That is your job. Imagine that you have to sell something that is very difficult to sell like a very complex electronic gadget. You must study in depth about the product. However, none of these goods require any studying. And you can just say that they are of great value, are better than competing products, and that you love them. Furthermore, you don't have to explain these items in a very technological or scientific way. Just say, I love these products. They are unbelievably good. People will say, wow, that must be one heck of a product. That's what most people will think. You don't need a lot of scientific data or detailed technological facts to prove how good our products are. There's absolutely no need for that. Let those eggheads do all the explaining and the rest of us dullards will keep on living the way we always have. I designed this company in such a way that even dullards can succeed just by using its system. How so? I myself used to be such a dummy, so I can truly relate to the academically challenged. That's why I always say not to try to explain things in a highbrow way or bother studying a lot about the products. I just want you to tell people how good they are. Still, there are some folks who will gladly study about the products. We have a great volume of data proving how good our items really are. However, the fact is, most of us don't really need that data. Well, why not? We're not really capable of understanding it. No one can be more compassionate to the slow-witted than I am. I imagine smart people like Dr. Lee probably have a hard time understanding those of us who are academically challenged. 
let me tell you uh, a relatable story. More often than not, many slow kids read simpler books during math class. The teacher then scolds them. You slow students are always up to something bad during my class. The teacher, who was once a good student, can't possibly understand why slower students read other books during math class. The teacher gets angry and paddles those poor students. I used to be one of them, a poor mathematician who can't even do factoring, looks at the board where the teacher is explaining calculus. No matter how focused I was, I was basically blind. I couldn't make any sense out of it. So I thought, instead of wasting time, why not read a social studies book that made sense to me? I tried my best to make the best out of my life. I was so absorbed in my book that I didn't even realize the teacher was standing behind me. He hit me on the head and chastised me, saying it is always the academically challenged kids who never focus in math class. No wonder you're so terrible at math, he added. That was one of my worst days at school. I felt so wronged, as I believed that I was living my life to the fullest. I just couldn't understand. That was the teacher's problem. I'm sure many of you former slow students can relate to this. In a way, we dummies have been trained in a certain manner, like fleas. We have been trained all this time like fleas. You put a flea in a glass container, and the flea looks like this. Okay? Fleas have a natural instinct for jumping, right? So it keeps jumping in the glass container. What would happen if you covered the container with a glass panel? The flea would crash into it trying to jump too high. The flea would think it's strange because it can't see any kind of obstacle. It keeps jumping until it realizes that it shouldn't jump so high. Its jumping instinct keeps making it jump. However, it will now only jump to this much lower height. Once the flea is conditioned to that, even after removing the glass ceiling, it will only jump up to here and come down again, and again, and again. The flea is perfectly conditioned. This theory goes for us as well. If you ever thought you were doomed because you got poor grades in school, in a time when only the educated and smart students were able to succeed, gave up on the hope of ever making it big, and finally settled in to your brainwashing that you could only live as a regular boring person, I want you to know that glass ceiling is now gone and times have changed. Now it's your time to leap as high as you want. You can finally dream big and become rich. I see that most of you would be happy to make $3,000 to $7,000 a month. What do you think? Wouldn't that be nice? If your child got a job at one of those big companies making three to seven thousand a month, you'd be so proud that you would announce it to the whole world. The truth of the matter is that sort of life has no way out. Most of my successful peers who got great grades in high school are traveling along this doomed path now. They feel trapped and they tell me how envious they are of me. Almost all of them are retired now. Look, we spent our first 30 years studying, worked until 60, and now we're retired. We still have another 30 years left to live. Rumor says we might live until 120 years of age, which means another 60 years for those who are now 60. They went to school for 30 years and worked hard for 30 years. 
Is their retirement prepared or not? Those who are prepared receive $2,000 a month, and the most successful ones get $3,000 a month from their pensions. I do have friends who receive these pensions, yet they are crestfallen and are afraid of meeting people. Why? People my age go through many events in life, such as their parents passing or their children marrying. We are expected to pay our dues in those events, which can be as little as $50 or as much as $100 per event to be able to maintain your PR status. At times, you are invited to as many as 10 events per month, meaning all of your living expenses will be gone. You think you ought to get $50, yet you feel $20 or $30 sounds better. $20 or $30 sounds right to you because you just can't afford $50. How could you? If you visit five events, your total jumps to over $300, and it's a big burden on you. You feel so powerless. When old school friends get together, they calculate who's going to pick up the tab. These things are happening to people who got great grades in school, and they flew high in their heyday. Is that a successful life or a failure? They're still considered successes. With three to seven thousand dollars, it's nearly impossible to have a decent life. Everybody is dying to aim for those figures. But that is a red ocean. Why? Everybody is working to death to make that kind of money. In other words, this is a battlefield where smart people stab each other in the back. That's what a red ocean is. It's pointless to talk about the lower sector. None of these are successful plans. These numbers need one more zero at the end, meaning they should be at least thirty to seventy thousand dollars a month. There aren't many who plan for that kind of money, are there? This means the competition is weak there. I know some of you still argue that this is all just a pipe dream. It's because you don't really know much about money. Most people reason that because making $3,000 a month is so hard, making $30,000 a month must be nearly impossible. They say they had to fight tooth and nail just to make $3,000. How the heck could they ever pull off the trick of earning $30,000? They don't know any better. Let me ask you, which is harder, making a little money or a lot of money? Okay, I'll give you an example. One person makes a thousand dollars a month, another makes three thousand, another ten thousand, and the last makes a hundred thousand dollars. Which of these four would you say must be working the hardest? The thousand dollar a month guy says he has it the hardest when he should have it the easiest. Ask yourselves why this kind of thing is happening. You ought to change your notion of money. The more money you make, the easier it gets to make more. Ask those who earn tons of money if it's hard to earn it. They would say money is everywhere. Money is everywhere, and making it is a cakewalk for them. While those who make little money struggle to no end. In this case, should you go the easy way or the hard way? See, even the poorly educated know the answer to this. The easy way, of course. You must be making thirty to seventy thousand dollars a month. You shouldn't spend according to your income. You should first decide how much you want to spend. Then, you find a suitable job to meet that level. You will be writing on how much you will spend and what kind of lifestyle you want to see. Some of you want to take care of your aging parents. How much will you need for that? Will two hundred or three hundred dollars do the job? Absolutely not. You have to supply at least two or three thousand, provided they even own their own house. 
That way, those elderly folks can have a decent living. How the heck can you give $2,000 or $3,000 to your folks while you're only making $3,000 or $7,000 yourself? For that to work, you must make at least $30,000 to $70,000. Again, in order for us to live decently, we must make $30,000 to $70,000 a month. My mother is finally calling me a good son. What about your siblings who have it tough? Don't you want to help them out? Let's say a friend of yours is sick. You can send a text saying that you will pray for her. Of course, prayers are fine. But this is your best friend. And she is struggling to make ends meet. Wouldn't it be nice if you could just leave her an envelope with $10,000 in it, saying that you will take care of the rest of the hospital bill, and all she needs to do is get well? Isn't that what friends are for? Don't you all want to live a life like that? Who in the whole universe is going to stop you from living a life like that? What matters? is your desire to live that way. Until now, only smart people could have done that. But now you don't need to be smart. Why? You have a tool, Atomy. Just bring your people here and tell them to use products that are of great value. The next step, after announcing your plan to make $50,000 a month is to bring them here so that they can understand your grand plan. It's rather hard for you to explain the plan, so you need to persuade them to come. Of course, not everyone is going to be interested in doing this business, including many of you here today. Sure, some people will never do this, but a great many will actively join in, and some will even do better than you. There is a chance some of your partners will outperform you. Among our Royal Club members, we have a former bus driver with a grade school education who became a member. He used to drive a tour bus for Atomy members and would always stay in the bus to avoid MLMers. One day, he felt ill, so his passengers gave him some hemohem. These Atomy members were precious customers to him. So one day, he came to a seminar to learn about hemohem. He had an awakening through the seminar. And he made up his mind to do this business and ended up making over 200000 a year. He quit driving the bus and is now a proud royal member. How could that be possible? A perfect system called Atomy is available for you. Do you know the biggest obstacle to becoming rich? A lack of desire. How can you paint your picture when you don't even dream of it? It's hopeless. When I tell you these things, some folks say things like, right, I will be one of those who makes 30, 50, 60, or $70,000 and finally live my life decently. While others say, easier said than done, just forget it. I'm not just blowing smoke here. I am telling you, after having turned thousands of people successful, how could I be telling you these things casually? I'm not just making all this up. I've worked myself to exhaustion to make these people successful, and I have all the evidence I need to back up my words. Even the Bible says, he who has ears to hear, let him hear. We all have ears, but we don't all hear. You heard, but it didn't register in your brain. Many of you here understand me clearly. 
regardless of your education level. That's it. I'm going to make money and start living a charitable life. I'll tell you who can hear me better, those who are nice. Those who are not nice think, why would I need that much money? If I can only make 3,000 a month, I'll make it through and I just might survive. Those who think, why would I work to death for others? might hear what I say, but they can't understand. On the other hand, those who have been frustrated because they couldn't help out the needy and who have always wanted to reach out to the poor think, that's right, I'm the one who needs 30 or $50,000. I will make that kind of money. I must do it. I must do it because I was told I can do it. This is why good people succeed. Take a look at the banner over there, where it says, honesty and goodness is the best policy. Those who cut corners and are greedy don't succeed. Good-hearted people with passion do succeed and make it big in this world. You will run into obstacles while doing this business. You will feel discouraged and helpless. Some partners of yours might say they're giving up. You will feel trapped, I know. However, those with good hearts won't and can't give up. They think of their family first, which will have to suffer hardship without their support. They remind themselves that they will overcome hardship for their family. Next, they think of their friends who are in need and little kids without parents whom they've always wanted to help. They pull themselves together, thinking of those in need and gathering up all the passion and strength that they have in their hearts. For your loved ones and for your children who you want to encourage, you must all make up your minds that you will succeed. Let me remind you that we're now living in a very special time. In general, the next generation has a better living than the previous one, provided there are no catastrophic disasters. However, it is said that our children will face much harder living conditions than we did. In our generation, we could put food in our mouths if we worked hard. There won't be any jobs to be had in our children's generation. Most jobs will disappear as robots replace them. Should we fight this change with all of our might? If we do that, it'll be even worse. Why? All other nations will do it and they will race ahead of us. Think about drivers. They'll be replaced by autonomous cars. Even medical doctors will be replaced by robots. Robots who will do surgeries, remote diagnosis and whatnot. There will be fewer jobs available to doctors. What I'm telling you is predicted by most futurist scholars. It's a safe bet that almost all of our current professions will disappear. We're already suffering from job shortages. And if things get worse, how will our children ever be able to make a living? That's why I'm saying that you should right now take care of your children's future jobs. This is what you should tell them. Kids, you don't need to worry about doing well in school or worry about how to make a living. Mom and dad will make enough money to take care of not only you, but also your own children. You know that you can pass down your income to your grandchildren, right? Say to them, I will take care of you and your children so you don't have to work for money. This world is full of people who do just that. Don't bother with working for money, as there are many other meaningful jobs. You will be able to make a choice. It doesn't matter whether you want to seek a career in the arts 
or find meaning in life by helping the underprivileged. You can do whatever you want. Wouldn't it be so great if you could say something like this to your children? Some say to their children, are you trying to be like your mom and dad? You will live in poverty. This is why our society is experiencing a problem with teen suicide. Our kids hear repeatedly that if you lose in competition, it's all over. Parents tell their kids if they lose, they will die. No wonder these kids in our nation's best universities are quitting their lives just because their GPA slid a little. Who's to blame? It's all because of the parents. Our generation is to blame for this notoriety of being a suicide nation. We parents must all repent. What should we parents do for our children instead? Mom and dad will take care of your livelihoods and those of your children. Don't worry about working for money, but think about doing good and finding meaning in life by helping others. Why don't we say things like this to our children? Atomy is the system for you to finally be able to say those things. I want to see all of you succeed with Atomy. Thank you for listening.